Hi, we're the Lobbies. That's Ali. And that's Paul. We're exploring Australia aboard our sailing catamaran. Along with our sailing cat, Scuttlebutt. And you can come along for the adventure. We're Champagne on Ice. Hit the subscribe button to see our regular clips. With a triple La Nina raging in New South Wales, we feel very grateful to have spent winter and now spring in these beautiful sunny Queensland islands. Warm air, warm water and sunshine almost every day really does make the Whitsundays a boating paradise. Today, we're taking a walk to the lookout on Chalky's Beach on Hazelwood Island. The sand here is the same fine silica of neighbouring Whitehaven Beach, and the sun bouncing off the sandy bottom turns the water a colour somewhere between azure and aquamarine. <laughs> it goes so well with the green of the Aussie bush. We had a real treat in store as our final crew members of the season flew in to spend a few days with us in the islands. Our beautiful friends Cheryl and Holly escaped a rainy Sydney and were keen to experience a taste of island life. We took Cheryl and Holly for a session of dragging, getting towed behind the boat as it sails along slowly, feeling the force of the water on your skin. It's a unique experience and loads of fun! Oh, that'll be good for the videos. <laughs> <laughs> it
If there's a blood-sucking insect within a kilometre radius, it'll find Alison. And as the girls found, sitting on a tropical beach at sunset can invite unwanted attention from hungry hematophagous creatures. <laughs> we'll have to remember to bring the Aeroguard next time. As the girls flew home to rainy old Sydney, a little shower crossed the island and some welcome swallows paid us a visit, leaving us with hearts full of love and gratitude for our beautiful friends. There are some great bushwalks in the Whit Sundays, and this one took us to the narrow causeway that links South Mole and Mid Mole Islands. You can only walk on it at low tide because at high tide it disappears. Another great walking area is around Chute Harbour. Trails go from beaches up over the ridgeline to the village with many pretty sights along the way. When I emerge from the bush at Chute Harbour, there's all these really steep streets along the ridge here. And I met this really cool guy, Craig, with a unique skateboard the likes I haven't seen before. This is a pretty cool design skatey. What does it do? How does it work, my friend? It's called a freeboard and it's like snowboarding the streets. Yeah. So you can drift and slide. You right. do circles down the road if you wanted to. Yeah. yeah. And how does it compare to a normal skating? Uh, it prefers deeper hills yeah. and it's no good for the flats. Woohoo! Sadly, our Whitsunday sailing season is coming to an end as the cyclone season approaches. We seriously considered staying and getting jobs on a tropical island, but ultimately have decided to head south for the summer. My darling has become so good at cutting my hair, I reckon we could start a floating hairdressing business. We're also pretty good at provisioning now after months of island hopping and multi-day trips with our friends. And this was our last big shop at Early Beach before starting to head south. Next time, the bubble bursts and we start heading south to avoid cyclone season, finding a whole new set of tropical gems along the way. We discover a little stowaway and catch a North Queensland muddy to feed the whole family. <laughs> <laughs>